The Our Code is a movement that was started a few years ago by a nonprofit organization, Code.org, to promote young students into possible careers in computer science. Today, thousands, actually millions of students all around the world participate in the Hour of Code, in which students use kid-friendly activities in which to learn basic concepts of computer programming. We in Falmouth are very fortunate to have students involved in the Hour of Code activities because it not only is introducing them to potential careers down the line, but also in exposing them to additional opportunities for problem-solving skills. We are dedicated to better connecting Falmouth students and teachers with all the wonderful STEM resources in town. So here we are tonight at the Family Night of Code, and I've invited four local software experts here to explain to these students what they do for a living. First, down at the very far end, in the orange overhauls, we have Heidi Murata. She works with the NOAA Fisheries at the Woods Hole Aquarium, and she's explaining how she developed software to help monitor fish populations. And next to Heidi is Tom Campbell. He's a software engineer, runs his own business, and has done a lot of work in the oceanography field developing software. And next to Tom, is John Howland from Hui. He's worked on a lot of Hui's ROVs and unmanned submersibles doing all sorts of software work. And last but not least is Pam DeFreitas right behind me. She's from Convention Data Services and she's an interesting person who started off not knowing she was that interested in computers but has it worked her way up to become a software engineer and has this is her second year of coming to explain to the students what she does for a living. So we're hoping everybody gets a good chance to see where to put all their expertise to use. Right behind me are East Falmouth Elementary School students showing off our Dash and Dot robots that were provided through a grant from the FEF um, Foundation, which is pretty amazing. They are coding the robots to have them do different activities. We also have some unplugged activities which do not involve any technology to learn the basics of coding, different iPad apps that we're using, and we are also featuring the website Scratch and Code.org with their different coding activities. I built a structure that was as tall as a cup out of just, what was it called? Uh, little gummies and toothpicks but it had to be as tall as a cup and hold a book. And it was computer science without um, plugs, I think. It took a long time, but I never gave up. Well, mostly the kids brought me here. They heard it in school in their intercom, and both my five-year-old Ian and my 10-year-old Julia really wanted to come. And mostly were the robots. They heard that they were going to be robots, so they said we could not miss that. And, uh, but now Julie's exploring the green screen and the editing studio and uh, the filmmaking, and my son is working with those um, uh, three-dimensional structures that they're making, and uh, they're really having a, a great time. And I think that coding, programming, all these activities should be actually really taught starting at an elementary level because it will be very important for our kids to learn at a young age.